Hey, what's up? My name is Ali. I'm a creative strategist here at YouTube. We wanted to make an episode about community contributions, so I spoke to Tom Scott, who's been using this tool for quite a while. Community contributions is a tool that allows your audience to transcribe or translate your videos. This could mean captions, subtitles, or even your title and description. But why should you do this? What's even the point of having translations or captions or subtitles? Well, I asked Tom Scott about this, and he suddenly got quite serious. Closed captioning for videos is vital for accessibility, and that doesn't just mean that it's people with hearing difficulties, it means it's people who are watching on their phone at night while their partner's asleep next to them, it's watching on a busy train. It's funny, Tom's examples really made me laugh because I've literally done all of them. I really need to start stashing headphones wherever I go. It is literally just a tick box to activate this. If you don't have time to transcribe, if you don't have time to translate, tick the box and you may well find it just happens magically for you. It also feels really good. Tom was so overwhelmed with the response when it happened to him that he made a whole video thanking his audience. I'm having a bit of a moment because this week a team of people subtitled the latest citation needed, which is a massive job. I've, I've always wanted to have full subtitles on all of my videos because it's, it's the right thing to do, but I never thought the effort required on those longer ones was really worth it. So I am incredibly grateful uh, to all of you. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, it's easy to do, and it's also the smart thing to do because it means you'll show up in more places around the site. This, by the way, is especially true if you have your title and description translated. Now, you might be thinking, but what about the risk of someone, intentionally or not, mistranslating the video? Well, when we built the tool, we put certain safeguards in place to reduce the likelihood of that happening. If you're curious about those, I've put some links in the description to the Help Center and also to the Creator Academy lesson on this. As a creator, you can also spot check the translations with Google Translate. Basically, just make sure that they're saying, roughly the right thing. But as a general rule, we don't see too many deliberate mistranslations, and small errors seem to get quickly corrected. It worked, uh, and it worked really well, and that's hopefully not just a testament to my audience, who are wonderful, but a testament to the YouTube community at large. Okay, so hopefully at this point you're raring to enable this tool. Once you do, other than just letting the contributions roll in, you should think about the different ways that you can encourage your audience to contribute. So we've got a couple of recommendations to get people to contribute. The first is just ask. As my grandma used to say, if you do not ask, you do not get, and this definitely applies to community contributions. Make your audience aware that this tool exists and that you'd like them to use it. Obviously uploading a video about the tool to your main channel is a fantastic way to drive usage, but if you don't want to do that, there are lots of other ways that you can do it. You should pick one that works for you and your channel strategy. YouTube creators will know their audience better than I possibly could. You will know how to broach this with, with the folks that are following you. Whether you make a video explicitly saying to do that, whether you add a note at the end of one of your videos, whether you pin a comment at the top uh, and say, oh, this is a thing that, uh, that I'd like you to do, you will know the approach better than I possibly could. Next, and this is especially important in the early days, be available to your audience to answer questions. You could do this in the comments on social media. Tell your audience where to focus. Tom Scott told his audience this. If you want to go translate right now, uh, thank you. Work on the, the popular and the recent ones. Next, find creative ways to thank your audience. Maybe that's a shout out, maybe that's a thank you video. And in general, let people know that they can get credit for their contributions in the description of the video as well. If you do community contributions right, it can make your channel accessible to a broader audience. And it's free. What more could you want? At this point, maybe you want to know more about exactly how the tool works, so I've linked a bunch of resources in the description. Make sure to subscribe to the Creator Academy, and we'll see you next time.